Hi there. I'm going to apologize in advance for my um, sort of scratchy throat. I've had a really bad cold now for about, I'm on the third week. I've tested, it's not COVID, or at least if I'm doing the test right, it's not COVID. Um, so I don't know what's wrong. I'm finally going to a doctor today. So anyways, we'll see what's going on. It's probably just a really bad summer cold or or sinus infection or what have you, who knows. Um, so I got a little thing on Amazon. I had seen two uh, Dutch um, illustrators um, or illustrators and sketchers. Um, Koshikuna, who is a phenomenal sketcher on a daily basis and she runs workshops and all sorts and has a book out and so I've been following her for a while. She has Draw Tip Tuesdays on Instagram and her um, YouTube channel and I'll put that down below. I saw her and Sarah Von Dongen who has a domestica, has a couple of domestica courses using these stick wash or um, sometimes I think I've seen them using uh, stick tempera. So I wanted to check out what it was about. And I saw, I think, um, Koshikuna had the Dell Green. So I went online and this came up on Amazon. And I think it was about, well, I'll have to put it somewhere around here, how much it was Canadian. Here they are. And they arrived just in time for Urban Sketchers Meetup. So we're continuing, oh, sorry for that. Continuing on the theme of urban sketching because I thought these would be really handy to get things down quickly, um, get them dried and be able to layer up um, as quickly as possible. So <clears throat> I have been testing them out and this is one that I did from last weekend. Our meetup was at the Distillery District in Toronto. And this is a brew pub called Mill Street Brew Pub. And the this color is this. So I just quickly laid that down. And then I used this color for up here. And I think it was just up there because the rest is color pencil, um, watercolor, marker, you name it, I put it on here. So, and pen, obviously. So I think it turned out really well for, it gives a nice texture to the brick that I really enjoy. And then I did another quick one. It was starting to get really hot, so I wanted to do something really quick. And I just turned in my seat and then this was the view um, going between these two old warehouse buildings. So again, that's the um, sort of terracotta color or burnt sienna. I used gray a little bit here, the green again, and then the blue for the sky and a bit more of the gray for um, a building that's in the background that's stone. So I was pretty happy with that. That's not, this is an Art Creations um, Royal Talon sketchbook. So it's smooth paper, it's off-white. Um, it's not the thickest, so it, it works pretty well. I put a little bit of water just to kind of smudge it out and get it moving. Uh, this one is Stillman Burn Delta Series. Again, off-white, but it's, um, it's watercolor grade paper, so it's a little bit thicker and has a little bit of a cold press texture. So I'm going to test out these on this Fabriano uh, 140 pound, and this is cold press. It's not 100% cotton, but I'm probably going to be using these mostly for sketching. So I'm not too worried about, um, 
you know, having good quality paper. And I'm also not too worried about having uh, light fast issues because it's going to give a little bit more light. Um, I don't know what the light vests are for these. They're made in China. Um, we're going to go with probably not great light fastness. But let's swatch them out. So this starts with this kind of peachy color. And it really goes on very nicely. It's kind of like consistency of lipstick. And I'll just brush that out a bit for you to see. So it doesn't completely dissolve it like let's say you're using a neo color too um but you can work it to spread the color a little bit but i'm thinking using it more as a solid color than trying to use it as if it was watercolor of some sort so there's some really nice yellow sort of a warm yellow verging on orange that's quite the orange color Verging on cool red, and yep, cooler. And kind of a real magenta. Just going to zoom in a little bit more. That's probably the one that has the most transparency so far that I'm noticing. Most of them are pretty opaque. These don't really have color names, so that's why I'm not really calling them out. They don't have color names at all unless they say that in Chinese. I'm going to leave the white one for now. It's a little bit more transparent, kind of like that magenta. It's a nice vibrant kind of phthalo blue. Oh, did I do that? <laughs> Really lime spring green. That's what I would have called it patty green. Another nice green there. And this is probably my favorite green. It's the most natural looking. There's a lot. Sort of an olive green. But you can mix these and I'll show that in a bit. 
Nice ochre. <clears throat> this burnt sienna terracotta color. <clears throat> this kind of, hate to say it, a little bit poopy looking brown. <clears throat> So I'm just going to, um, let's choose this green, maybe. Oh, a good swatch of it. Love it. So you can either come over it with the white. I'm going to allow it to um, firm up a bit and dry and see how the white goes over it then. Let's do another color. Let's see about layering colored pencil on top. See how it goes. And like I did before, you can sort of Kind of brush in those whites of the paper areas. It gives it a really nice effect as well. And just let that dry a little bit and we'll come back to those in a second. Okay, let's see about going over this with the white now. It's less likely to mix now because it's kind of firmed up. <clears throat> so this way you can run over it with other colors. Um, is that the one that I just used? Probably. Let's try orange cross. So they do work on top of each other. Let's see how well they work with colored pencil, because I know a lot of people will be using it, as I will. I find the Derwent drawing ones are the best for layering. They just have such a good coverage. Like, look how dark that is on its own. <clears throat> so that goes over it well. And then the Caron Dash Luminance are also really good for layering. But here's a Prismacolor. I haven't tried these yet. And it still goes over top with no no issue. I was a little worried that um, it would be an issue because of the waxiness. Here's a Pitt Artist Calligraphy pen. I picked that up by accident. I thought it was the brush pen, but that that goes over as well. And let's try of course Posca pens will probably go on top with no problem. Pick a nice nice color. So you can layer that on top. And I found that I could layer uh, watercolor on top of these too. So let's do another experiment. Meet with this, this color. Let's let that dry up a little bit. And 
I'll be back in a minute. All right, so that didn't take very long. I'm just going to put, let's say, I have a set of May Marie um, watercolors here. I'm just going to lay over the top of this one. Now I think it still might be a little, yeah, it's a little not dry right now. So let's give that Just going to spread that out a little bit. So let's try that again. Okay, let's try that one more time. <clears throat> I know I did put um, watercolor over top of that sketch before. I think this is just a really transparent color, so let's see about maybe the pings gray. <clears throat> yeah, that's more like it. It's not really mixing with the color you're able to go over it. It's still transparent because it is watercolor. But if you see on this one, the um, the red is watercolor because that's I didn't have the red um, gouache stick with me, so that that's watercolor on top. So it does go on top. You do have to maybe um, run some water over it just to take off that kind of little bit of waxiness um, and kind of cure it so that it doesn't uh, want to re-wet but they do they do re-wet as I'm doing here so you just want to be mindful of that I think when I was adding the red on that other one, I was going over it um, with a lot of pigment on top so it wouldn't do that, so it wouldn't mix. And I also, when I first got them, I swatched them out in this um, light term on white, so you can see a little bit better the, the colors on a smooth surface. And that's with pencil crayon or colored pencil on top as well. You'll notice the black kind of verges on a brown um, when you, you wash it out. And I would prefer that as a brown to <laughs> The brown that came with it, it's a little, like I said, a little poopy looking. Um, but I think they're a neat addition for my little traveling urban sketching studio. And they might be a neat addition for yours. And so with that, I'm going to have some tea because I feel my throat just getting sick again <laughs> or just never getting well and um that will be it for now and i'll leave a link um below i'm not affiliated with amazon it's just where i got them um and um that's it for now hope everyone's well thanks <laughs>